How's it going YouTube? Don here. In this video, we're going to talk about why you should learn mobile development instead of web development in 2022. Now I have to admit, I'm a little bit biased here. I am doing mobile development right now, but there's a good reason for that. And I just want to talk about those reasons in this video today. So when I started to learn how to code, I started off with web development just like everybody else, right? So I would study HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you know, did a little bit of Node.js and stuff like that. Now this was a little bit after I graduated college in 2020, around mid uh, 2020, around June, July, 2020, really started to get into teaching myself how to code. And I obviously I started with web development, but what I found is I didn't get much results, right? So I didn't get many interviews, and you know my the uh, the results that I got, you know I kept applying for jobs, and I just couldn't get anything going. And then one day, about a year later, after trying for about a year to get a web dev position, I decided to switch over to mobile development. And then it was honestly one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my career. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why I think it's a good idea to study mobile development instead of uh, web development in 2022. So the first reason is competition. So in the mobile space, there aren't really many people that are doing, especially native uh, mobile development, so Android and iOS. So it's my belief that the bar is actually quite lower than it would be if you were on web development, at least from my results. Another one is you do have a tendency to get paid much better than you would at, uh, you know, doing web development. So web development, even though it is in demand and there's a lot more jobs, there's a lot more lower quality employers out there that are willing to, that are not willing to pay you your market rate. So you can either do one or two things. You can either, you know, play hardball and try to get what you're worth or you're gonna set the industry lower. Now what I found is a lot of uh, the app landscape is much different from when the app store first came out. So a lot of the app, the stock, the app shares are usually from big companies. And therefore, big companies usually need like native, mo like native developers. So as a result, the average, uh, the average price to actually, you know, the average uh, developer salary is actually much higher than it would be if you're doing web development. The third thing is I find it to be much, uh, I would say it's much better to be uh, a lot more independent as a developer when you're in the mobile space. Now obviously you can still do freelance, you can still do freelance web development but it's much easier to have that control and not rely on, you know, uh, rely on, you know, acquiring clients and learning sales and then, you know, dedicating your time to, you know, all areas of business. Instead, you can focus most of your attention on just being good at mobile. And then from there, you know, if you can sell uh, your app at different prices, it's a much better way to be focused and be very, uh, uh, really develop your skills when it comes to mobile development. So I've talked a lot about the uh, pros of, you know, learning mobile development. Now let's talk about some of the cons. Now some of the cons to uh, learning, going all out in native mobile development is the fact that there's not much competition. Here's the thing, right? When there's not much competition, you know, I found that there's uh, not a lot of jobs that are available for me to apply to. But, you know, it does make up for the amount of interviews that I get, which is actually one of the other points of the pros, is I tend to get a lot more interviews from the mobile side of things as opposed to on the uh, web development side of things. So that's another pro. Kind of went off topic there, but whatever. So the second con is the fact that the interviews there you must know a lot more for the interviews as opposed to a web developer right so apps have a lot more variables to it 
you know you had to understand the app life cycle so it's going to be stuff like foreground active foreground inactive background and not running so that and then you also had to understand memory management right because you had to understand like queues and stacks because the main thing is when you're uh, doing an app things run in the foreground and things run in the background as I said earlier therefore you need to have a uh, understanding of the threads which you know you're already drinking from a hot fire hose when you're learning how to code and it's just one more thing that you have to worry about the third thing that I find is when it comes to interviews they tend to be much more demanding right when I, it comes to interviews especially at the bigger companies I've gotten a lot of system design interviews and system design interviews are usually catered towards senior people but in mobile I found them to even be asked in the junior level which I find kind of stupid but that's just the way it is whereas opposed if you were to take a web developer job even if you go to like a big company they're probably gonna have like two rounds of algorithms instead which is uh, which is much better to me because you know you can focus on one thing right and the last con that I've really thought of is there's not a lot of resources out there to help you out along your journey a lot of it you have to figure out on your own right as opposed to web development so many people are doing it then you know a lot of people have an understanding of it and are willing to help you out on stack overflow you know on online forums on youtube and stuff like that so that's some of the reasons why i think uh, mobile development is better than web development in 2022 let me know down in the comment section below whether you agree or disagree if you agree that mobile development is better in 2022 hit that like button for me and if you thought that web development was better feel free to double tap that dislike button and without further ado if you like the content that i put out feel free to like comment subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.